Hello guys, consider this the official before because today I have about one hour to get ready and I want to look good because we are going to a concert and I'm so excited about this concert. Okay, let's go to the bathroom and let's do some skincare while I tell you about tonight's plan. Hey guys, so uh, this is what I look like right now. I just got out of the gym. I took a nice little shower, didn't wash the hair, and yeah, I'm giving myself about an hour and my goal is to look bomb as fuck. I want to get good Instagrams and I just want to slay tonight like half of me is excited for the concert and the other half of me is just excited to slay tonight as you can see behind me these skincare shelves are now up as you know I've been moving apartments so everything has been taking quite a while but the skincare shelves are at least built they're not you know completely organized yet I still have to do some rearranging but they're up and they're ready to be put to use so let's just do some skincare right now. Let's do it. Oh, I didn't even tell you what concert we're going to tonight. Hi, anyways, tonight we are gonna go see Daniel Caesar. <gasps> I'm excited. If you don't know who Daniel Caesar is, you probably do, and you don't know him. Do you know like, um, when we wake up, when we make love, it makes me feel so nice. I'm really not trying to like, do an award-winning show right now, but I'm trying to give you the gist. So that's who I'm seeing tonight. I'm really excited about it. Anyways, hi, I'm so glad that my apartment is now being like put back together and things are where they belong. I'll wait till I show you my studio. Like things are coming along in there and that's where we're gonna be getting ready today. So no more getting ready in the bathroom. That's one of the biggest reasons that I wanted to move apartments. So I wanted a two bedroom so that I could have a room literally just dedicated for filming and that's what happened so i'm really really excited about that i'm gonna do an apartment tour once everything is like all ready i'm waiting on new furniture to come in and all that stuff so i'm not going to do it till it's more ready i'm going to use the murata environmental shield essential c toner i love a toner that you spray it's just so nice like boom done and i'm going to use the Too Faced hangover good in bed hydrating serum and then for like a moisturizer i'm just gonna do a primer so so far in the studio i have my styling rack this is where i envision myself getting ready for like videos like this where it's like a get ready with me and i want to try outfits on i also envision like try on hauls here styling sessions here so that's the styling rack and right in front of it is my filming mirror and like my makeup station mirror so my vision was for this to be the background of all my videos, just to have like something cool for you guys to look at, right? Isn't it cool to just look at some cute clothes? And then I'm gonna, yes. And I'm gonna put some art and like fun kooky stuff all over the walls. So I'm really excited about this space for us. I think it's gonna be a really fun addition to the channel. So what look do I wanna do tonight? Honestly, I wanna be a little bit experimental tonight and I don't wanna do like a makeup look that I do all the time because I'm going to a concert. I feel like I can have a little, Fun with it you know what I mean I don't know what I'm gonna wear so yeah I really just don't know much about this but that's what keeps it interesting am I right am I right am I right am I right one of my goals today is to use products that I either never really use or haven't tried because during my move I found a bunch of things that I don't really acknowledge enough so today I want to put myself out of my comfort zone and use some dough products maybe a little bit of first impressions maybe just a little bit you know I'm not trying to do my normal routine just to keep things fun except for this because I do use this all the time so I'm gonna start with the hello fab coconut skin smoothie priming moisturizer and this is their like birthday packaging they celebrated their 10th year anniversary so their packaging isn't usually like this but I love it I really love it so I don't really go to like parties or clubs or things like that so I think I'm gonna use this opportunity tonight as a time for me to wear like a hot little dress and some heels because the opportunity does not get presented to me that often and I'm young you know I'm just like young I'm thriving so I'm gonna take this as a chance to like wear that type of clothes. Oh, another thing I'm really excited about is I have like all these drawers that are very organized for my makeup, which is beautiful. It's a blessing. And now I feel like I'm gonna be way more incentivized to try new things. So I'm gonna go into my drawers. This is something that I've been wanting to try. It's the Urban Decay Drop Shot. So I believe you mix it in with your foundation and it makes it just look like way better. 
So let's give it a shot. I mean, there's no directions on it, which is a little worrying for me because I don't know how to do it. So I guess I'll just start off with a little bit. And yeah, be honest with me. Let me know how you think it looks because I'm a little scared to use it because I've never used it before. But I mean, it's Urban Decay. It's not gonna be bad, right? Okay. So the foundation looks good, but this foundation always looks good. So I guess I can't really tell. I don't know. Do you see a difference? Let me know what, down below. Or if you've used this, let me know what you think about it down below. I'm gonna keep using it too, so I'll I'll update, I'll update. Guys, the funny thing about like self-tanner, which I love to use by the way, is when you shave your armpits, like it takes the self-tanner off and then it always just leaves you with these like marks underneath the armpit. I mean, that's with any tan, with self-tanner. And sometimes I just forget. Like I was at the gym today and I was like, woo! you know so I set my face and I got this Chanel bronzer recently and I don't really like ball out ball out on like bougie makeup all the time but this is one of those purchases that I do not regret for some reason this bronzer is just so good it's like creamy it blends really easily and something about this I just I really like and I'm glad I do because imagine if I bought it and I hated it and I would just be so mad at myself. I'm pretty sure the last concert that I went to was Ariana Grande and before that it was Coachella. So yeah, I don't really go to concerts that often. I kind of wish I went more. Which concert was the last one you went to? And also let me know like who's your favorite person to see live? Because I mean sometimes like I'm not even that in love with an artist but then after seeing them live i'm like wow i think katy perry was actually one of those for me i saw her a couple years back and i was like okay with katy perry like i thought she was fine and then i saw her live and for some reason i was like damn like i just i really f with her now and i have like that feeling about tonight with daniel caesar i feel like it's well it's my first time seeing him live but i feel like i'm just gonna like really just love his vibe i mean his music is so like passionate and personal so i feel like his concert is gonna be nothing less but those are my expectations i don't know i'll check in with you after and i'll let you know how it was so the concert's in downtown and right now it's six and it starts at eight so i have to leave here at like seven i really just like don't have a lot of time but guys i feel like that's a summary of my whole life i just leave things for the last minute <laughs> Okay, so today for my eyeshadow, I wanna use a palette that I've never used before because I find myself using like the same palette over and over again. So I've been really into this palette and I use it all the time. It's probably in like all my videos. It's the BH Cosmetics Color Festival Palette. So I'm gonna try something different tonight. It's another palette by BH Cosmetics, but it's the Daisy Marquez palette. She sent it to me like a while ago and I still haven't tried it. And when moving apartments, I was like, I really wanna try it. Let's give this a go. The packaging is super cute. It's like Tiffany blue. And I've seen her post on her story a couple times, like looks that she's made with it. And it looks, they all look good. So Daisy, if you're watching, hey girl, hopefully I can live up to some of the looks that have been created with this palette. I probably won't. <laughs> Cause I'm just, you know, I'm not a beauty guru, but like, it's fine. I wanna do something different. So maybe I'll, I mean, honestly, I'm really just drawn to these. Maybe I'll do like an orangey look. You know what? That's what I'm gonna do. Usually I do, usually I do like a pinky look, but today I'm gonna stay with like this color family and I'm gonna do like an orangey look. Okay, hi, so I just did this eyeshadow look and I think I did a really good job. Like, I, this is good, this is really good. I did something like that I don't typically do. And once the lashes are on, I think it's gonna be beautiful. I think it's like sunset vibes, you know what I mean? Doesn't it look like the colors of a sunset? I don't know, I think that's what it looks like. Okay, I'm gonna use this Lime Crime highlighter and uh, yeah, I hope that it's good. It seems like it would be good. It's the opals, it says that it's opals. I just don't know how it's gonna look on my skin tone. Okay, I like it. I'm gonna put my lashes on and I will see you in a second. I'm gonna line my lips. I've been really into lip liner recently. Huda Beauty, Huda Beauty, I don't know. Is it Huda, is it Huda? I don't know, comment, let me know. But I'm gonna be using this lip contour in the color Flirt. And yeah, I've been doing more like nude lips instead of pink lips and it's been a vibe, like low key. Wow guys, I am so impressed with my makeup skills on this look. I think I did like a really good job. So for my hair, I'm just gonna straighten it. And maybe do something cute to it, actually. Maybe I'll do like a cute little thingy, but I do want it to be straight. And I'm really excited to pick out my outfit. I already know that my jewelry that I'm gonna wear tonight is gonna be from Roxbox. I wear Roxbox all the time. Literally, if you follow me on Instagram, 
You probably see me wearing Roxbox all the time. So if you don't know what Roxbox is, Roxbox is a try before you buy jewelry membership. Basically, you pay $21 a month and that's your styling fee. So when you sign up, you take a style quiz and it asks you like a bunch of questions about your style and what you like to wear and stuff like that. And then your stylist will personally like pick out the right pieces for you. And then you get a box every month like this with three pieces of jewelry inside and you can buy what you love and return the rest. And that $21 styling fee is like applied to anything you buy. Free shipping both ways. And as long as you have the membership, you can keep or return the pieces as frequently or as not frequently as you like. It's very like whatever you wanna do type of thing. And they always have really trendy and really cool pieces from design like Kendra Scott, Kate Spade, and they also have like exclusive pieces. And plus they're always adding like a bunch of new stuff so there's always new things to try. I recommend always keeping things like in your wish list so that you know what you want. I mean, I guess I'm gonna pick the jewelry out depending on my outfit and I'm gonna try on a bunch of outfits right now. But let's see what pieces I have this month to work with. So I have this like necklace. This looks so cute. I love a thin dainty necklace, you know what I mean? Oh wow, these hoops are everything. Just looking at them, I feel like I wanna wear them tonight, but I don't know what outfit I'm wearing yet, so I don't wanna like pick prematurely. This is so cute. It's gold and black. And also this one's gold and black, so I'm thinking I'm gonna layer these together and wear these hoops with it. I feel like this is a total vibe. Okay, let me try on a couple different outfits and let's decide which the winner is for tonight. The styling rack, so cute. Okay, so I have these new dresses from Meshki and I wanna wear one of them soon. Honestly, aren't these just like so cute? I feel like the length is everything and the colors on them are so adorable. I don't even know which color I like better because they're both pink. I'm a big fan of pink, but I feel like I like this one a little bit better, but I'm also like, this one's so cute. I feel like this one's just a little bit more low key. And since I'm going to a concert and like not the club, I think this would be a really good option. I also love how thin the straps are. Let's see what else I have. Oh, I also have this new black skirt with a slit on the thigh, which I'm obsessed with. I have this long dress, which I haven't even worn yet, but it's super cute. The only thing is it's like sheer. So I'm wondering if this is more like a vacation dress, like on top of a bathing suit. Cause I really, I don't know what I would put underneath it. I mean, I guess I could do like a bodysuit, but I also don't want everything exposed oh look at this white skirt that i have it's to the floor this one is so cute it's like to the floor but there's a big slit but i just don't feel like it's movable for a concert you know what i mean oh i also have this i, I don't even have it all on the rack but i got this cow sweater i also got like a cow bralette a cow skirt a cow hat like everything in this exact print so i think i'm just waiting for the right occasion for that but i'm honestly feeling this the most right now. I think this is so cute. Oh my gosh, and I have the cutest heels that will go with this. I just got so many new cute heels. Let me put this on and we will decide. But I mean, this is so cute. I, I love it, come on. Wow, okay, so the accessories are on. This black choker literally makes the look. Guys, if you click the link in my description and go to the Roxbox website, you can use my promo code, which is Lauren XOXO. My promo code is Lauren XOXO. And just because you watch my videos, you can get your first month free on Roxbox. So yeah, go enjoy that. And a huge thank you to Roxbox for sponsoring this video. Okay, let's take a look at this outfit. Damn, this looks so cute. I couldn't wear a bra with this dress, which is giving me a little bit of stress, you know, but it's fine. <laughs> I'll be fine. And damn, I just feel like so cute in this. Let me go show you in the other mirrors. So this is the outfit. Oh my gosh, yes. By the way, this is the big bruise that I got when I fell off of my stool. It's... Ow. If you know, you know. Um, anyways, this is the outfit. I'm very excited for tonight. I was low-key really stressing out because I just felt very overwhelmed because I had a lot to do. But I think now we are ready to go. Thank goodness. Woohoo! I'm very excited for this, for this night. Guys, I'm feeling a teensy weensy bit bougie, so I'm gonna put on some Chanel number no. five. I've heard so much about Chanel number no. five, just like because who hasn't? So I was like, you know what? Let me buy it. Let me see what all the hoopla is about. It's good. I get it. I get why people like obsess. I'm so excited for this concert. I think we probably missed like half the opening act by this point. Um, but I'm slow to get ready sometimes. I think I gave myself like an hour to get ready and it took me like an hour 30. <laughs> Guys, I just checked my email and I don't know how I like didn't, because I got the the notification that the that my card was charged like when I bought the ticket so I didn't really think anything of it so I just go on my email to see like 
um, to pull up the tickets because we're going to get there soon. And it's like this whole message like, hey, unfortunately, like the tickets you bought basically are not a thing. Like, I'm so sorry. You're going to be credited. So we have like no way to get into this concert. So we're just going to try to buy tickets outside. Like from a scalper. <laughs> let's see what's up. You can't just go in and buy tickets? No. I doubt it. It's not like a movie. I don't think we'll be able to make it to Vegan Boy, honestly. No way. Okay. Wait, this is such a plot twist. Yeah. I'm so mad at myself. I should have checked. I'll let you handle one thing, baby. <laughs> I mean, that's it's fine. tea. <laughs> it's kind of tea. Oh but it's God. fine. Let's, let's see what we can make work. Damn, I was so worried. Wow, that's great. That's amazing. <laughs> we really thought we weren't getting in for a sec, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like tweeting Daniel Caesar as if he knows. <laughs> Okay, I literally just got so nervous because the tickets that we bought online <laughs> were not a thing and I thought we were gonna have to buy them off like a scalper. I was telling Henny in the car, I'm like, we're gonna need to get off a scalper. We got tickets. We got tickets at the door. At the door. Amazing, I'm I was really waiting excited. for you at the door. We were like talking like, oh, should we get dinner? <laughs> yeah, we were gonna be like, yo, if we can't get in, let's just go get dinner. Like, we're all dressed up, we're ready to go, we're in downtown for no reason, you know? I was so sad, but yay. Okay, cool. I feel like we're gonna have the best night ever, Loki. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yay. Mm -hmm. Guys, there's so many couples at this concert. It's so adorable. I feel like it's because Daniel Caesar's music is like so romantic and lovey. So yeah, there's so many like little couples around us. We love love. We are big fans of love. We love some love. So it's so cute to be surrounded by people holding hands. Excited to see a concert. Oh. We made it inside. I'll fit check. Wow. Can I get you? Sure. Hey guys, so they just asked to take a picture with me, but I was low key like standing next to you a second yeah, ago. We'll and be... she was like, look, I don't care if we go out or not. <laughs> it's I was a like, please. Get lit. <laughs> yeah, where are you guys going tonight? Um, USC, USC bars. <laughs> Iconic. Look at the people that watch my videos. Hot and cool. We love that. Yes. <laughs>